we have another study here. Deal with angels and man. I'm going to show you angels believe in God and Jesus Christ, who is God. Many men don't. Psalm 104, 1. Blessed be the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God. Okay, so we're talking about God. Verses 4. Who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire, who laid the foundation of the earth. Now we're talking about the creation, we're talking about the Lord God, and we have God creating the angels. Nehemiah. Nehemiah, chapter 9. Nehemiah 9, 6. Even thou art Lord alone. There's only one God. Thou hast made the heaven, the heaven of heavens, three heavens, with all their host, seraphims, angels, four and twenty-four elders, whoever they are. All things that are all things that are therein, heaven, the seas. So God's the creator. God created the angels. Genesis two. Genesis two seven. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. So God created angels and man. We're both created beings. Now there are two sets of categories of angels. Those angels that stay with God. And then there's a third of the angels the Bible says that have taken sides with Lucifer, Satan and the devil, the evil. And there are angels right now in hell. There are those angels that are in heaven, the evil ones, the ones of Satan. And there are even those devils, angels, here on the earth. Representatives of Satan, as God has angels that represent him. So, let's get into our study. We're going to look at the angels first. Mark. Mark chapter 1, verse 24. And it says, verse 23, the unclean spirit. The unclean spirit said, let us alone, us, more than one. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? This is the unclean spirit. Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. So this unclean spirit knows that Jesus Christ is going to damn him one day. He knows who Jesus of Nazareth. Many people don't even know Jesus of Nazareth. And he knows that Holy One of God. You know, there's a lot of people out there, they don't know who God is. So one of the things I get witnessing, public wit witnessing of people, well, I know God. And this study is to put forth, okay, you may know God. So do the angels. So does Satan angels. So does the unclean spirits. So does the devil. And people call them demons. I don't call them demons, but for this study, we'll say devils or demons, okay? So you know what I'm talking about. So somebody will say, oh, I believe in God. Well, so do the devils and demons. And they're going to hell. They're going to hell believing in God. And a lot of people say, well, I believe in God. That's just an excuse for them to think that you're going to shut up and go away.
Matthew 8. Matthew 8. 29. And behold, they cried out. Look at verse 28. The devils. There were two men possessed with devils. In verse 29, they cried out, plural, what have we to do with thee, Jesus? Thou son of God. Art thou come hither to torment us before our before the time? So these devils knows Jesus. Many men don't. Paul even will go so far and tell us that there's another Jesus that people believe. The Son of God. Now the, the, the other devil, hey, you're the, you're Jesus of Nazareth, giving us who he is specifically. Now they say, this is the Son of God. Jehovah Witnesses say, hey, you know, Jesus, he's just a nice teacher, nice guy. He ain't God. The devils believe more than what the Jehovah Witness does. Are come hither to torment us before. There's that tormented again. The devils, the fallen angels, the demons know one day they will be judged by Jesus of Nazareth, by Jesus the Son of God. They believe it. He tell a man that, that they die and go to hell. He tell men that the rapture's coming. There's a there's a period of time called the tribulation period. Do you tell them that there's other destruction if they die without Christ? They don't believe it. They don't want to believe it. The angels believe more than man. And they're going to hell. The third of them. The devils, the demons. I said, I don't want I don't like the word demons, but for this study, I will use the word. Luke 4. I mean, in the, in the realm of demonology and devils, in the Bible, there's no good devil. Devils. They're wicked, they're vile, they're going to hell. In the class of demons, there are good demons and there are evil demons. There's that little good demon on your shoulder. He wants you to do good, right? He whispers the good things in your ear. And there's that little devil demon. And he wants you to do bad. And he wants you to do wicked. And if you look up a dictionary, a proper dictionary, it will even give you the definition that there are good and bad, uh, bad evil, wicked demons. Encyclopedia uh, Brzezanica will tell you. That's why I don't use the word demon, but for the study we will. Um, Luke 4, 34. And unclean devil, verse 33. They can't get clean. You can't clean a devil. Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, Jesus of Nazareth? There is. Art thou come to destroy us? I know. Thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And there we go. Now look down in verse number 41. And the devils also came out of many, crying out, saying, All right, so, D so Jesus is casting out the devil. Thou art the Christ. You know what Christ means? Anointed one. There's not any Christ coming, but the devils know Christ. The Son of God. And Jesus rebuked them, suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was the Christ. You know what? Many Jews, Israelites, Hebrews, do not know Jesus Christ as the Christ, as the Messiah. They utterly reject him. The devils don't. God's own people. We'll see that in a little bit. Uh, Mark 1. Okay, Mark 1. We're going back to Mark 1. Let me see that. 34. He says, He cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him. 
they knew. If you were to ask a devil or demon, I don't like that word, he would tell you about Jesus Christ, the Son of Nazareth, uh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God, the Holy One of God. You stop any man, any 10 out of 100, any 10 out of 11, and you ask him who God is, boy, your answers are going to be as far as the east is from the west. Based upon their religion, or no religion, education, what they believe, their circumstances, not the devils. Luke 8. Luke chapter 8. I hope that's 28. Terrible handwriting. So we have. Try to see. Verse 27. Devil's long time. When he saw Jesus. He cried out. The devil. And fell down before him with a loud voice. What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God, most high? I beseech thee. Torment me. Torment? Torment? That's what the rich man said in hell. I'm being tormented. The angels know they're going to hell. And the angels believe there's torment in hell. You try to get nine out of ten men to believe that. You try to get a Christian in a Baptist church to believe that. Look at Acts 19. Acts 19. 15. And... Verse 13, evil spirits. Now they were casting out evil spirits in the name of Jesus, the vagabond Jews. They weren't Christians. They were trying to make money or maybe making a movie about devil possessions. And you know, the girl's head spinning around 360 degrees. And Paul rebukes them. Now there's an evil spirit there. And the evil spirit, verse 15, answered said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know. Did you know that the, that the devils, the demons, know Jesus? They know Jesus of Nazareth. They know Jesus is of the Holy One. They know Jesus is the Son of God. They know that Jesus is going to judge them. They believe in hell, they believe in the torments, and they know Christians that serve God. Now I'm gonna stick my I'm gonna stick my foot out in it. And I'm not good as Paul, and I'm not good as anybody else, but I believe there are devils in hell that know my name. Because I, I I tell people about the gospel. I try to get people saved. I try to get people out of hell. I try to do it. And listen, I fail all the time. I'm a sinner. I still have to repent. I still sin. But I'm saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. And I try to go into the world and preach the gospel. I try to be a soldier. There are devils out there that know who I am. And I've seen them work. I've seen witnessing to somebody. And I've seen a devil come up with a distraction. Not the devil, but the devils. One or plural, and then ruin that whole conversation. I've seen it. I've seen them distract during witnessing. I believe that there are devils in hell because of the service that I do for the Lord Jesus Christ, they know who I am. And, oh, that's a big statement. James. Well, I, I believe in God. You hear, that? You, know, you hear that just James 2. 
You hear that just as much as, you know, I let my light shine. James 2.19. You hear all kinds, the same thing pretty much all the time when you got a public ministry. If you don't hear it, you're not doing what your God told you to do. And if you don't know the excuses of the people, you have not heard the people excuse you. You, you have not had them rat, uh, rank you out, yell at you, scream at you, call the cops on you, uh, rebuke you, fight you, including Christians. You're not doing the work of the Lord, and no devils know you. There's one thing, once the devils know who you are for serving God, Christians will become your enemies. Pastors will become your enemies. Churches will become your enemy. Well, look at it. I know who God is. James 2.19, thou believest that there's one God? Okay, fine. Great. You find those people all the time. Thou do as well. The devils also believe and tremble. Oh, you believe? Do you tremble before God? Do you know the God of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Holy One, the Christ, Jesus of Nazareth, the Savior of the world, the Lamb of God, which take away the sins of the world? Do you know God? The devils know who He is. And they tremble. When, they, when we looked at the verses that they're trembling, uh, are they come to torment us before time? Are you going to? They're trembling. Because they believe in the power and the person of Jesus Christ. And the message and the words and the preaching of Paul and Christians. Jude 6. Please don't ask me what chapter. Jude 6. The angels which kept not their first estate, heaven, but left their own habitation, he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness, Unto the judgment of great day. There are angels right now. They're chained up. They're locked up. I would assume. I'm assuming. If God were to let them go. Ooh, you think things are bad? He's going to let those angels go. In the tribulation period. Some of them. You know Psalms tells us that. What you don't read in Exodus. That in Egypt. There were evil angels that went about. That's in Psalms. In your concordance. Evil angels, I believe, plural. Okay, so that's the angels. Let's look at man. So we see the angels completely believing Exodus 5 2, Pharaoh. Exodus 5 2. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord? That's Jehovah. That I should obey his voice to let Israel go. I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel. You know, you know what the guy says? I don't know who God is. I don't care who he is. I ain't going to listen to him. I run into three quarters, if not seven eighths, well, maybe six eighths, which would be three fourths of those people in public. I'm not going to do what you're telling me to do. I'm not going to just get out of here. That's what they told Amos. Get out of here. Go back to Judah. We don't want to hear it. We don't believe. That's what they told Jeremiah. We're going to go back to the Queen of Heaven. We're going to go back to the sunrise service. And we don't care it's an abomination of God. That's what the Christians say. I don't care Easter is an abomination. We're still going to do it. And Christmas. Isaiah 53. Now, you know this is about the Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't, you need to know. Isaiah 53, verse 3. Jesus Christ. He is despised and rejected of men. Men reject Jesus. If you think all the world loves Jesus, get yourself a gospel sign. In a King James Bible, stand on a street corner where people are, open that Bible, and start quoting verses about hell, about judgment, and about salvation, and only Jesus. Start preaching the gospel. You will soon learn, if there's a group of people there, 
that Jesus Christ is despised and rejected. I guarantee you. I had a Christian one time, he came down to the, to the farmer, and he, and he didn't get rebuked. He was there, but people were yelling at me. He got so offended on how they were treating me. Not him. Now he said, you know, if, he thought, hey, you know, if I keep, they're going to do that to me. And he walked away. John 15. Eighteen, I hope. If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. The world, the world hates Jesus. How can you tell someone saved the Lord? Oh, you don't have the right. Judge not, least you be judged. If you hate Jesus, you're of the world. He says in another place, if you don't keep his word. If you've got an NIV, ESV, ESPN, and that other junk, I got you on shaky grounds for salvation. That's not what we're talking about. I wanted to throw that in there. John 1, 11. He, Jesus, came unto his own Jewish, Hebrews, Israel, Judah, and his own received them not. The angels received them. The angels believe he's the very Christ. Many of the Hebrews, Judah, Israel, Jews, do not believe today that Jesus Christ is the Christ. They hate him. And they're God's people. Angels believe more than they do. Mark 10. You notice what we're, what we're seeing here? We're seeing people that reject Jesus. We saw devils or demons that believed. All the devils and demons believed. Verse 21 and 22. This is the rich young ruler. And Jesus, behold him, loved him, and said, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasures in that. This is not the church age. This is before the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. Don't you go out there and say, feed the poor, and you're going to go to heaven. That's not this age. Take up the cross and follow me. And he was sad to say, and went away grieved, for he was great possessions. He went away. He rejected Jesus because of riches. Again, this is not church age salvation. You can't run to Matthew, Mark, Luke. You got to be careful with John. But primarily, John's good. So Matthew, Mark, and Luke, you can't go running in there with church age salvation, church age. We're not the salt of the earth. We're not the light of the world. That's the Jews. That's Jerusalem. you got the wrong teaching, my friend. But that's not now. John 18. I know we're jumping around. It's good to get Bible practice. John 18, 38. I'm showing you it too. Pilate said, what is true? Jesus is true. And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews. Pilate asked Jesus, what is true? And then he turned around and walked away from the truth. There are people going to ask you questions and they don't want the answer. You know, like, where did Cain get his wife, blah, 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 blah. How many am I? I don't even listen to that more. I ignore them. Now, you can tell a sincere question that comes up, and you can you can deal with it. Here's Pilate. I don't want anything to do with you, Jesus. I want to get you off my conscience. 
What Pilate believed was Jesus was no fault. There's no reason to crucify him. He knew who he was. Look, he says in verse, uh, verse 39, Shall I release unto you the king of the Jews? He knew who Jesus was. But he walked away like that rich man. Psalm 14. Sorry about that. Psalm 14, 1. The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. 53, Psalm 53, 1. The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Yeah, that's twice. You know what God says about an atheist? There is no God. You're a fool. No devil, I hate the word demon, would ever profess, sorry, there's no God. First of all, they can't because there is God. They know who God is, their creator. And also they've got a new God, Satan. But a man will come out a true atheist that says in his heart, I don't believe in God, and I'm not going to believe in God. No devil or, or demon will say that or believe it. Now, sometimes when you've got a public ministry, you go, oh, I'm an atheist. Sometimes I had a guy do that to me one time, and I talked to him. He didn't even know what an atheist really was. He walked away as an agnostic knowing what an agnostic was. You, you're not sure. You, you don't know what an agnostic is. But he wasn't an atheist. He didn't know. And I gave him a little more, more eyesight. I dealt with another guy. He says, he says, I'm an agnostic. And I was able to talk to him. And he got further revelation. I pray for his soul. But there are no agnostic and there's no atheist among the devils. And demons, which I hate that word. First Corinthians. Now here's a particular statement. First Corinthians 6. Paul says about judging. Know ye not that we Christians shall judge angels? Now why are we going to judge angels? Christians, not the unsaved. Because the angels know who God is. They've seen him. They know who Jesus is. They've seen him. They know what position Jesus holds because they've seen him at the right hand of the Father. They know that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit created them. And I don't know what part of creation they witnessed. I don't know if they were there, Genesis 1, when God said, let there be, let there be. And they watched it. They could have been. They could, could have been a creation before. And probably were. So the fact is, the angels witnessed the earth being made and the trees and the animals and man. They witnessed the fall of man. They witnessed the life ministry of Jesus Christ, and we saw it. Some of those devils were there. And at the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus, some of those devils were there. They know Jesus' position at the throne of God. They know who God is. And they still sided with Lucifer. Satan and the devil, they are damned forever, the third of the angels. They can't get saved. There is no blood atonement for the angels. Why? Because I believe by faith. All Christians do. No Christian 
outside of Peter, James, and John, and Paul, has ever seen God. No Christian outside of Peter, James, and John, the apostles, saw the Lord Jesus Christ. No Christian outside Peter, James, and John, and Paul did not see the crucifixion. They did not see the empty tomb. I didn't. And the devils know who Christians are that serve God and love him and try to do right. Like I said, Paul was known by the devils. I believe I'm known by the devils, some of them. I will probably judge those angels that know me. Because I believe in a God I never met, never saw with my faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I heard the word. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The angels seen and fell. Listen, I'm a saved, born-again Christian, and I sin, and I fall. Because <laughs> sometimes I take my eyes off Jesus, who I can't see. Those angels that are there now and been there and know that are damned, are going to be judged by Christians who did not know, who do not know, have never seen, have truly never heard the voice of God in Jesus. And yet we believe and we can be redeemed by the blood. That blood, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That blood, Acts 20, 28, when you talk about salvation, it is only for mankind of Adam. It's not for angels. It's not for dogs. It's not for cats. It's for no animal or whales. Jesus Christ came to save man. He didn't save angels. And we're going to judge them because we believe by faith what they know as a fact. And I showed you illustration where the angels believe. And man, I don't have anything to do with it. Now we're going to judge those men too. We are going to judge the lost in a great way. That guy is going to go up there and go, oh, I never knew Jesus. God's going to go, Stiley, come here. Probably have a new name. Sir, do you recognize this saint here? Not really. You don't realize that at Walmart, he, he gave you a gospel track? You didn't hear him at a farmer's market preach about me, Jesus? Somebody didn't give you one of his websites, pages? He told you about me. He told you about how I suffered and died. And he didn't tell you about a church. He told me, he told you about the gospel. Oh, oh yeah, now I remember. Father, what do you think? I think he's guilty, Lord. If he never believed on you, he's lost. Okay. Angel steps up, whatever his name is. Give an account, huh? My God. Hello, Jesus. Paul, step up. No, no, no not Paul. Let's take. Uh, let's Let's say Lisa, saved in uh, 1991. It's my wife. Lisa, you, you put your faith in trust. Yes, my boyfriend who became my fiance brought me to the pastor for me to be witness to because he didn't want me to, he didn't want to witness to me because he didn't want me to believe on you because of love for him. But he brought me to the past. I received the Lord Jesus Christ on Pawkatuck Avenue in the office of, of Brother Spaulding. Did you ever see me, Lisa? Only after when I closed my eyes to the world and opened them up to you. 
the day I died. I was in a hospital bed. My husband kissed me, and I opened up my eyes and saw you. You mean the 19 years that you were saved, you never saw me. You never saw the cross. No. You never saw heaven. No, sir, I didn't. Mr. Angel? She has not seen things that you have seen. She has put her faith and trust in me that you didn't. What do you think I should do with that, right, Lisa? I think you should go to hell. Okay. Mr. Angel, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. We're all created beings, humans and angels. And somebody will come up to you if you are in a public witness. Somebody will come, oh, I believe in God. Yes, yeah, so do the angels. And they're going to hell too. But you can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. You can put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone. An angel can. You can obtain something that the fallen angels can't. Even the saved angels. They don't understand the finished work of Jesus because they can't be redeemed. They just didn't side with Lucifer. 